and delta H. It says, given the thermochemical equation, H2 gas plus I2 solid goes to 2HI gas, delta H for that is 52.96 kilojoules as it's written, meaning, meaning if one mole of hydrogen reacts with one mole of diiodine to make two moles of HI, the heat change is 52.96 kilojoules, okay? 52.96 kilojoules. Uh, and the problem says then calculate delta H for the reaction where HI breaks up into one half dihydrogen, one half diiodine. So we know enough to do this at this point. Uh, this is our target equation. This is what we want. And up here, A is what we're given. Now we know if we turn A around, what will happen to the sign of delta H? It's going to reverse, isn't it? So let's start with that. Turn A around. So this will be 2HI gas goes to H2 gas plus I2 gas, I2 solid. And what is delta H for that now? You told me what to do. Negative what? 52.96 kilojoules. Notice it's not kilojoules per mole. Delta H reaction, which is what this is, is given in kilojoules, and it's defined by how the reaction equation is written. OK? It's never kilojoules per mole for a delta H reaction. All right. Now, we're not there yet. The target equation has one HI. So we've got to divide everything in the equation by two. So let me do that. Divide by two. So um, if we divide two HI by two, we get HI. And if we divide the implied one here by two, we get one half. Same way here. A passing comment for the definition of thermochemical equation heat changes or enthalpy changes, it is OK to have reaction coefficients that are non-integral. It's OK to have half or 3 half or anything you need there if that's what's necessary to define this in a particular way. Here we have HI going to 1 half H2 plus 1 half I2. And the delta H for this now um, is going to be negative something. Negative what? 52.96 divided by 2. If we divide the equation constituents by 2, we have to divide the delta H by 2. So that will mean this is negative uh, 26.5 or something like that, approximately 26.5 kilojoules. OK, so this reaction has a negative delta H of 26.5 kilojoules. And this reaction has a positive delta H of 52.96 kilojoules. Um, so that shows you how you can deal with delta H and how you have to deal with delta H.